Hello everyone, welcome back to Retro Crochet. So in the previous video, I discussed how to know which size crochet hook to use. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about how to know which type of crochet hook to use. So let's get to it. Alright, so let me just first say that I think that when it comes to the type of crochet hook to use, it's a very personal decision. I think it's based primarily on what your preference is. And because as individuals, we all prefer different things, it's hard to say, okay, this is definitely like the crochet hook that you should be using. That being said, I think there are certain general tips and just information that I can give that can help you better make that decision for yourself. So. I am going to go through just some types of crochet hooks. For instance, you have the aluminum, you have bamboo, you have like the aluminum with this sort of soft uh, covering, you have steel, and then you have like aluminum with like a harder covering. And yeah, I'm just going to talk about my experience with each kind. And then from there, you can make the decision for yourself. So as a beginner, I think the first tip that I can give you is to buy a set. So as I said, the different types, right? It's important to buy a set so that you start out with, you know, some options, right? Because you're probably going to have the desire to crochet different things. And it's just kind of nice knowing that you have a variety of sizes. Now, if you happen to come across a pattern where they suggest a size that you don't have, then you can always, at that point, buy, you know, an individual crochet hook. For instance, this set, it has six millimeter and then seven millimeter. For some project that I was crocheting, it required a six and a half, so I bought this separately, okay? But these sets are usually comprised, if they're not comprehensive in terms of the sizes, they definitely, they're definitely comprised of the most common sizes. And before you guys ask, if I have links to any of these things, I will leave them in the description. So first we're going to start out with my roots. My grandmother taught me how to crochet many, many moons ago, as they say. <laughs> many years ago, it was with this type of crochet hook, the aluminum and it didn't have the fancy, you know, covering, which is ergonomically designed. It was just this, but this worked very well and I'm partial to this. I feel very at home and comfortable using this style crochet hook um, and it brings back memories. One of the good things about the aluminum crochet hook is that it's very smooth, okay? And that means that the yarn will glide along the length of the crochet hook very easily, which is good for someone with some years of experience crocheting. Also, because it doesn't have that big grip, you can use more length of the crochet hook versus we'll get to later, you'll see, you know, you basically have to stop at a certain point. Technically, this kind of bulges, it kind of, you know, gets wider there. So typically you don't go you know in that area but you can if you need to so yeah this is the first one the aluminum it's a winner in my opinion and there's just some nostalgia associated with it speaking of nostalgia this is the steel crochet hook it's very similar to the aluminum in my opinion it's very smooth and i also use this believe it or not when i was a kid after my grandmother had taught me how to crochet she used to have all these uh, books with like these diagrams where you could make like these dualies you just have to like do um, exactly what it said for instance there'd be like boxes with x's and then you go over to the key and the key would be like okay that means double crochet so then you go in there and you know if you see four x's like in the four boxes then that means four double crochet and then two uh blank boxes would mean you know don't put any stitch in there, things like that. And so I made my first, actually it might've been my only doily ever using some really small yarn, which is why I have this really tiny uh, steel crochet hook. And I still have it to this day. It was amazing. It took me, it took me a while to finish because as you imagine, using a hook this 
size requires very small yarn and the dolly was you know it was pretty big so it took a it took a while but it was a nice fun project to kind of work on gradually and uh yeah i still have it to this day and i just love it it's like ah that's nostalgia for you all right and then we come to the 21st century <laughs> and i discovered these crochet hook you saw the packet uh, that i have and these are also this type of crochet hook is also one of my favorite it's the aluminum with like the um, sort of bulky cover right and this is like a harder plastic but it's just so smooth i love the smoothness of this uh, combined with the this this cover because I'm not like gripping too hard to make sure that I'm you know I have a tight enough grip it's like bulkier so I don't have to my tension doesn't have to be as tight and yeah the smoothness just reminds me of the old school aluminum crochet hooks that I am obviously partial to and yeah it's just really nice I love this flattened area you know and there's makes for very convenient holding when I'm crocheting and I'm just very comfortable with these okay so yeah love this one and I know a lot of you when you watch my videos and you see me working with this set um, you always inquire about it I got it from it's by a company named Yarno Yarnology but I can't find that set anywhere anymore so I'm not sure I'm just happy that I have mine speaking of nice comfortable grips I found this set more recently and it also has the cover it's bulkier um, but it's softer there's a softness to it and I have only used crochet hooks from this set uh, a couple of times not because I don't like this type of crochet hook it's very similar to the one I just showed you um, it's just that I really love <laughs> the one that I just showed you and the hooks from that set so I usually tend to go with those but this softer sort of like eraser remember, you guys remember the old school erasers it kind of has like that feel except when you rub it it doesn't produce those nasty little dirty rolls <laughs> uh, but no it's very comfortable so if you don't want you know something solid or hard in that area then you might want to go for a softer uh, bulky covering and then I'm pretty sure this is aluminum as well and it's just you know your yarn will slide very easily so this is also a nice option and then the final type of crochet hook that I'm going to discuss in this video is of course the bamboo now I was relatively recently introduced to bamboo and when I say relatively recently I that would be like within the past I don't know five six years um, I always you know I had a little bit of interest in it but I was always so comfortable with what I was already working you guys know the saying if it ain't broke don't fix it so but I don't know I always saw you know people crocheting with bamboo and it just looked really cool so I'm like let me get me a set and see what all the hype is about and I I like it I mean I noticed as an experienced uh, crocheter now that I didn't like the friction that it has meaning my yarn didn't slide didn't glide as easily along the length of the crochet hook however this is something that's good for the beginner because you know as they're kind of developing their motor skills uh, with <laughs> as it relates to crochet they don't want their yarn just easily able to slide off right so it's a good thing that there's more friction with these and that makes bamboo crochet hooks perfect for beginners also the good thing about bamboo hooks is that they do smooth they do become smoother with time so the more you use them uh, the smoother they become so say you buy a set as a beginner you know it gives you what you need while you're learning and developing your skills as a beginner you know because of the friction that's present but then as you use them more and more they smoothen out but of course as you've been using them more and more you're gaining more and more experience and you are able to handle less friction you know you're hand able to better handle a surface with less friction and so they kind of mature as you mature which I think is a beautiful sentiment so the thing that I don't care for or I shouldn't say I don't care for it's just it takes some getting used to when you've crocheted only with other types of crochet hooks is how wide it is there 
at the top where the hook is. If you look at like this one, it's narrower. So if you're not used to that wideness, you're going to split your yarn quite a bit until you learn how to make the appropriate adjustments. Let me crochet a couple of chains just to show you what I mean. All right, so this is going to be nice and smooth, right? One, two, three, four, five. As you can see, I'm very comfortable with this crochet hook. Now let's put in this one, which is, you know, it's a different size, a little bit smaller, but that makes no never mind. Okay. And you can already see it doesn't glide as easily, it's not as smooth, right? But it also you can tell there's more friction and it kind of puts the break the brakes on things, which is perfect for the beginner crochet. Er. <laughs> So look at how wide that is. See how here that kind of comes to a narrow point right there? But this kind of stays wide. It's it's pointed up there, it gets wide, and it stays wide. This one, it's it's narrow up there, it gets wide, but then it gets it goes to a point. That's the difference. So when you crochet with this one, yarn over, you have to make sure that your crochet hook, which is good practice anyway, is really angled in such a way that it can get through. If not, this is what's going to happen. So you're going to be in danger of like either not getting through or splitting your yarn and it's, you're just going to get frustrated. See, like that's just, that's no good. But once you get used to it, you know exactly how to hold your crochet hook. You can also ease up on your tension and that'll help you get through your stitches and making those chains much easier as well okay and because it's wider at the end you feel a little pop you know it doesn't make that sound but you you feel it and you know that you've completed the stitch very easily versus you know with this one you, you don't really feel anything <laughs> you know I mean you can feel it I guess a little bit but it's not as noticeable everything's just so smooth so for that reason, I think that the bamboo, if you, you know, want to invest in a bamboo set and you're a beginner, uh, that's probably a good idea. And then to go from this to this style will be very easy because to me, crocheting with bamboo is a little bit more challenging or it can be, uh, but you won't notice it as a beginner because you're, everything will seem challenging at first, right? Cause you're just learning. So. Hopefully this video has provided some insight into, you know, the different types of crochet hooks that are out there. I'm sure there are many other types. I'm sure this is not a comprehensive list, but um, I didn't want to overwhelm you and I could only show you what I have in my, in my arsenal <laughs> of crochet hooks. And I only want to speak about what I have experience using as well. So uh, yeah, hopefully this helps you figure out which type of crochet hook or which types of crochet hooks you want to include in your arsenal and don't forget I will leave links to the ones that I have links for in the description so check that out and I feel like there's one more thing I want to say before I go but I can't think of it uh, let's see oh yeah and don't forget if you're a beginner buy a set Try to buy a, a, a set of crochet hooks so that you have many. For example, you can get something like this if you can find it. Or like this, the bamboo, right? Or you can get a little set like this with a nice pouch. Okay, and then this is where this hook came from, this set. It has a whole bunch in there, right? They're nicely labeled telling you, like, for instance, that's K, 6.5 millimeters. Uh, but it also comes with tape measure in there, uh, some stitch markers, and some darning, weaving, tapestry needles as well, okay? So you can find a little pouch like this. It wasn't expensive. I remember I got this off of Amazon. Um, yeah, it's just really convenient to take with you. Or if you want something like this, you know, that's fine too, okay? Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video, but you know I'll see you in the next one. In the meantime, happy crocheting.